Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a showcase of the OG Prime Battle Tech LR Goku, who was actually the first LR ever released in Dokkan. And now we have like 50 plus or something like that, which is crazy. But anyways, he was the first LR ever. And in that video, we found out that he is still very respectable, you know, like consistently putting out 2 million plus damage, or at least attack stat on his 18 key super and uh, doing a fair amount of damage. So I was pretty impressed by him in that video. And today I want to throw it back once again to another OG Prime Battle LR, which is the LR Burst Form Frieza, who I believe came out a couple months after the tech Goku. So this guy is also super, super old. And the purpose of this video is to find out whether or not he's still relevant in today's meta and uh, see how much damage he can output on a modern day 170% category team. All right, so what we're gonna do first is start off by going over his details. So for anybody that already knows what he's all about, feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half. And we'll get into the gameplay all right so starting with this guy's stats he has some really really good stats all right his attack stat at rainbow status is 21,680 which is very high his defense is 12,050 which is also pretty good and 19,400 hp which i mean nobody really cares about hp but th that's not a bad stat either for hp and his leader skill is all types attack plus 7,000 completely irrelevant in today's meta, nobody's going to be running him as a leader, so you can basically ignore that. His super attacks, the 12 key super causes colossal damage, and the 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and lowers enemies attack and defense. And his passive is just a basic attack plus 13,000 and defense plus 5,000 at the start of turn. I mean, the flat boost is pretty standard for uh, prime battle LRs, but he doesn't really do anything else. I mean, like I said, he's super old, so to be expected. And his links are strongest clan in space, universe's most malevolent metamorphosis, there's for conquest, big bad bosses, fear and faith, and legendary power. Four categories on this guy, planet Namek saga, transformation boost, wicked bloodline, and dragon ball seekers. So those are all the details you need to know about the STR LR first form Frieza. And without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay and see what this guy is all about. So on the first rotation, he has 58,020 defense, which is not bad, but it's definitely not great. So he's not a good candidate for events like this right here, the Legendary Goku event, or Super Battle Road, or any of the harder hitting events in the game. I'm not saying he can't be used on those events. I'm just saying you gotta be really careful with him to make sure he doesn't die, right? So uh, on this rotation, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna put the Turles here because I wanna use his support for a few more rotations. And I also wanna link up the Frieza with this final form cooler here later on. So we'll keep it like that for now. Now the question is, can we actually get a nice super off with Frieza? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got the 18 key super. And we got the support from Turles, and uh, we got some links as well going on. Now, not the best links, not the optimal links for Frieza. Like I said, the best partner for this guy on the team is the Final Form Cooler. But even with this setup, he's still getting close to 2 million attacks. That can get us crit here right off the bat for his first attack. He can't get a crit, but 1.7 mil damage is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed, guys. All right, so first attack off to a pretty solid start. And um, I think it's actually very similar to the tech Goku. I think both of these units put out similar numbers and we didn't even have the big bad bosses active, right? So he can definitely go higher from here. So on this rotation, I'm definitely taking the final form cooler out so we can link him up with the Frieza later on. Um, let's give our girl darkness Toa three orbs so she can super. And we're probably gonna move on from this stage. I mean, if we don't, I'll leave those STR orbs, but it's very unlikely. I think Goku is gonna survive these attacks. But uh, yeah, the optimal setup for this team is definitely to have the LR Frieza linked with Final Form Cooler, and then have Turtles on rotation for that 40% attack, and then also have Big Bad Bosses active, 
and of course a full 24 key super. So once we get all those things lined up, you know, all the stars aligned, uh, we should be able to see his max damage output on this team. And I'm expecting somewhere in the range of, you know, 2.5, maybe even upwards of 3 million, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'm gonna stop talking because I don't wanna set expectations too high. So we'll just see what happens, all right? So uh, I'm still gonna keep Turles in the first slot so that eventually when the cooler comes around, we can still have him for support. Okay, so we got the uh, 15 key super. Or is that, no, that's not 15, oh, that, that is 15 key, wait. 15 key? Yes, 15 key super with the Frieza. Um, gonna see a little bit lower damage here, but hopefully not too low. Oh, Turles is getting supered. Okay, this is gonna hurt quite a bit. Yeah, 171k, all right. Uh, <laughs> 1.76 mil from Frieza, 1.5 mil crit. That's really good, guys. That is really, really good for a unit that's like three years. I want to say three years. Could be a little bit more than that. Maybe a little bit less. But around three years old. That is really good. I did not want to get this transformation off. I'm not going to lie. But uh, it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, here we go. So this is the rotation that we were looking for. Um, let's see how I can play this though. So I do have an orb changing item, but even with that item, I can only change AGL orbs. So let's give him these ones. And, ooh, okay, perfect. So let's use this right here. Can we get the full 24 key super is the question. We can't, we can't, but it should still be pretty nice because we do have everything else aligned. You know what I mean? Like we have the uh, big bad bosses active. We have the support from Turles. Uh, Cooler is getting supered. Hopefully not for too much. 76k. I can live with that. I can live with that. All right. So two million attack from Fizz Final Form Cooler. This guy's still an absolute monster. Uh, I just hope he doesn't attack too much. Doesn't kill the Goku. Ooh, please don't crit. Please don't crit. Okay, good. We're good. Okay. Frieza, 2.7 mil. Ooh. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. 2.7 mil crit, please. No crit. 1.27 uh, mil uh, damage. Um, but obviously, you know, damage output, like the final damage number will vary depending on your enemy. So I don't pay too much attention to that. The main thing you want to pay attention to is how much attack they can generate, right? So 2.7 million from the LR Frieza right there. I think we could have gotten close. You know, very close to 3 million if we got the full 24 key super. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm pretty happy with that. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't like his max damage output by any means. And uh, if I really wanted to, I could have brought like, you know, Kid Boo and some other crazy supports like uh, Bardock who gives like the 7... Wait, Bardock only gives... I think he only buffs super types. Anyways, I could have brought like a crazier support setup, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Like I could have done some crazy things, but... Um, I don't really like to do those kind of things for my showcases, mainly because I don't feel like it's a realistic, tra uh, not, tra not translation, a realistic representation of what you would normally get in, you know, like a regular run, right? Like nobody's going to be bringing a kid boo on a team where he gets no buff at all. I mean, you could, I guess, but it just doesn't really make sense. So even though I could be getting some crazier numbers uh, from the Frieza, I, I don't like to do that, right? So this is a pretty accurate representation. We got 2.1 mil right here with the full 24 key super with no supports on rotation. And please give me a crit, come on. Yo, what I, What did I give him 20 crit for? What did I give you 20 crit for if you're never gonna crit, man? Come on. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think we've seen close to as much as there is to see. From this guy anyways so i'm gonna cut the cut the showcase short soon maybe we'll do one more rotation the freeze or maybe we'll die before that happens so whatever comes first all right one more rotation with frieza or we die and uh, that's where the showcase is gonna end guys 1.29 mil not too bad Ooh, tanking really well metal cooler tanking really really well and of course turles has to transform now so we're not getting any support from him from now on. Um, I'm actually going to, you know what, just to ensure 
that we survive one more rotation. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I, I think we can do just fine with the with the golden Frieza tanking here. So we'll just uh, leave things. I was gonna use an item, but I feel like we don't need to because we have Frieza right there, golden Frieza. Uh, let's see what damage he can do. Actually, 1.9 mil. Not too bad. Not too bad. I already did the showcase though for this guy. We already know he's a monster. So we're going to move on to the Super Saiyan God stage. I'm going to do one more attack with the Frieza. And then we're going to call it, guys. Then we're going to call it. So what shall we do here as far as the orbs go? Um, if I give him one here, can we get those? Oh, we can't get the STR orbs. The boy messed up. The boy messed up. I already used my orb changing items. Okay, so we're just going to go with this. <laughs> A bit, of, a bit of an anticlimactic way to go, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just see one final attack, and then we're out of here, guys. So, overall verdict, I would say I'm very impressed with the uh, Frieza, just like I was with the Goku. This might kill us. This might kill us. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Wow. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Going back to what I was saying, um, he, he impressed me guys because uh, this guy is mad old as I said multiple times now and you know, you don't really expect these kind of numbers, this kind of damage output from units that are as old as he is, right? But uh, still being able to get, you know, 2 million plus to close to 3 million as you saw 2.7 mil was the highest we got in this showcase. We could have gotten higher though if we got a few more orbs. Um, 2.7 million from a unit that's over 3 years old. I think is quite impressive so don't hesitate to farm this guy out if you guys have nothing else to do right now I mean uh, you could also farm the the LR cell I guess but if you're done that you're done all the other stuff that there's to do and you still haven't finished maybe you're a newer player or maybe you've just been lazy this whole time you still haven't finished him I think he's still worth the effort of grinding those 777 medals even though it's a huge pain in the ass uh, the end reward this first form LR Frieza I think is still worth it let me know in the comments down below what you think about this guy right now uh so long after his release let me know if you guys have farmed him already or do you plan to after watching this video and as always if you guys liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out